Here we go. Now, we all know someone who gets a little spooked during thunderstorms, even uh, major sports league members. Yep. Last night's Cubs and Braves game entered a weather delay due to thunderstorm that blew through Chicago. Now, leading to some pretty scary looking lightning uh, in the sky over Wrigley Field. Apparently, wow. Cubs third baseman Chris Bryant does uh, get a little scared, too. You can watch him it. hopping through the dugout there to the sound of thunder and lightning. That is some crazy lightning right that there. That is a really I would be under line. the dugout. Uh, he was worried about that. You could tell he was. You know, they make a shirt for dogs now that if they're afraid of storms, it's called like a thunder shirt. They can put this on, and it actually reduces the dog's anxiety. Maybe we need a thunder shirt for Chris Bryant. I wonder, I wonder how that works, but yeah. I, I mean, he one. was really, obviously. He really was. And, I, you know, really, of, of all the wonderful things he's probably done in his life and oh, plays he's, he's made, this will be the one thing that gets played over and over. <laughs> not not his it, greatest catch or his greatest you, play. The rest of the guys are kind of like sitting there enjoying the light show, and then he's... <laughs> He's jumping and running and heading for the back. And do we know that really was the reason he was? Maybe maybe he got some ants in his pants or something. I mean, he could anything could have happened. Those baseball players they do things like that. And they'll give each other hot foots and stuff like that. That's probably what it that was. That be what like, it oh, was. He was afraid of those thunderstorms. And if like somebody had lit some kind of like match in the back uh -huh. of his shoe and it gave him a hot foot and he just jumps yeah, and runs. Yeah, like in a bad Charlie Chaplin movie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> today is your lucky day, I hope, because it's National Bingo Day. Yes. The roots of the popular game can be traced back to Italy in the mid-1500s, while another version was developed in France in 1770. In the United States, it was originally called Beano. Yeah. According to legend, a toy maker was calling the numbers for a round in 1929 when someone accidentally yelled Bingo instead of Beano. The toy maker, the legend said, says like that word better and it stuck as the new name for the game. Now you can celebrate National Bingo Day by finding a local bingo hall or you can play on an app on your phone. Did you know it was a bingo app? No, I didn't, but I Does it call no the numbers for you out loud <laughs> <laughs> under the B? I don't know if I would trust one that's online. I mean, but that's all right. I guess a lot of people do and People used to play poker online and stuff like oh, that, George too. Oh, George plays poker online. Of course, now Beano, which the original name, went on to a long story history as an anti-gas Yes, it did, <laughs> indeed. But I think I think they probably did use beans to mark the but That's what I'm thinking. Here. I'm thinking that's probably how it came into being is because for markers, they just use these bigger beans or mm -hmm. maybe lima beans. Oh, lima it could have been like lima beano or something mm -hmm. like that. And then you cook them for dinner after everybody's <laughs> exactly. had to Exactly. Right. Bingo's over or beano's over. <laughs> Time for <laughs> dinner. Into the pot. <laughs> yeah. This is the sweetest thing you're going to see all day. <laughs> Big brother Derek Smith was so proud of his little sister Charlie at her pre-K graduation in Connecticut last week. His emotions just got the best of him. The eight-year-old's parents posted the picture of the adorable moment on Instagram. They say Derek walked up to his sister and told her he was proud of her. The sweet words left Charlie in tears. Mom Andrea Smith said the siblings do sometimes get on each other's nerves as kids do, but Derek still tries to be a great big brother. That well, is looks so like a very sweet. Very good big brother. He was proud of well, her. If he's that torn up by kindergarten graduation, just what's he going to be like? And in that's pre-K. Yeah, that's pre-K. Oh, that's pre-K. Oh, wait, so we she's got pre-K. got to graduate from kindergarten. <laughs> then we got kindergarten. Then we got fifth grade. Fifth grade. Then eighth, eighth grade, grade. Then high school. Then college graduation. Mm -hmm. Medical school. If she goes to medical school, yeah, who knows? That's then. exactly right. Well, <laughs> a lot more way to go, Derek. Well, when we come back, speaking of bingo, we're going to talk twerking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Aaron is here. <laughs>